Thanks for following along with these guys on this project. We are just wrapping up. Caleb is finishing the last of the cleanup. So I'll kind of walk you through. I didn't get a ton of time lapse stuff on the bed that we redid, but we uh, took out all, there's a bunch of um, plants in here and we ripped all that out. Some new sod, new edging, new rock there. And then over here, so we did a three-tier retaining wall. Um, if you stuck out through the whole time lapse, uh, you kind of know how long this process can take. So this was our fifth day. Um, we decided to, we originally just had this bit out for um, just black dirt in here, but decided um, we'd bring in some mulch just for free, just to give it a nice finishing touch. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. We use the Versalock standard block for a lot of our projects. Uh, it's a solid block, <clears throat> pretty heavy. They're about 80 pounds each, but uh, we like them because we don't have to core fill anything, which is, um, we don't have to put any drainage, any rock between the uh, retaining wall holes. So it's kind of nice. We installed drain tile in and behind each wall. Uh, one of the biggest reasons that walls fail is because of poor drainage and water. So we made this one super, super tight and uh, so I won't have any problems. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, keep following along with us for more landscaping, lawn care, and snow removal videos. Take care.